Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you an advanced version of how to put footage inside a computer or cell phone, and it's going to be either an image or a video, and I'll show you what I mean. So this right here, what you're looking at, this was last week. Last week, I showed you in Camtasia how to do the device frames, which basically means putting your footage or images into like a cell phone, TV screen, computer screen, as you see here in the example. And I showed you the feature that is built into Camtasia. And it's great and all, but if you want more customization, if you want different kinds of photos and or videos of computer screens, TV screens, cell phones, then this is the tutorial that's about to happen. All right, so let me show you three examples here. So I already pre-rendered them just so that I can play it so we can get a, a smooth version of this. So here's the first example. And this, by the way, this is like a 90s TV, right? The really box heavy ones. And you'll see that it is a video because if you look at it, it's slightly zooming out slowly. It's very subtle, but it's all these little details that that make it look real. This is our video. This is a vlog video here inside a stock footage video. So it's kind of like an advanced version of the device frames. Now this is custom. I had to go and get this and I'll show you where I got it and how I got it. So let's just play it here. So there's no sound and you can see that it is slightly zooming out very, very slowly if you look at it. It really is. And this is a video. So let's show you the second example here. And this is also a stock. Look, I don't know who these people are that are watching our video in like a bar. And that's the second example. And this is the third example. This is a still image. This is a still image of someone's hands and we're inside while she's looking at her phone. So those were the three examples. And so let's head over to the media bin here. And you can see right here, these two were videos and this one was a stock image. Now I'm saying that this is an advanced tutorial because it's not already here in the Camtasia, I had to go and download it. If you look at the other tutorial, the device frames are already preloaded, which is great, but not great if you want something completely different and you want a custom feel. So let me show you where I got these two video clips. So I've talked about them before. I have a subscription to Storyblocks, and if you guys want to check them out, I will have the link down in the description below. I like them because it is a, it is a subscription model, meaning you get unlimited downloads for a monthly or a yearly payment. And for me, as a video editor, as a YouTuber, this is very beneficial to me because I don't want to have to pay per clip, per image, per video, per sound, per song. It's just better when it's unlimited. So this right here, all I did was type in green screen TV and then I saw this one. And then I thought, okay, cool, the 90s. And as you can see, it's playing right now. It's very slight. It's zooming out very slowly. And they also have other old TVs as well. And they have a whole bunch of different green screen type clips. And so this one could have been cool because there's a person's uh, hand right there ch changing the channel, right? That could have been interesting. And this one, this is an even older style TV. So basically what I did was I went and I downloaded this as an MP4 and then I went back to Camtasia and then I uploaded it here into the media bin. And then I did the same thing for this clip right here. And for the second example, it's also from Storyblocks. And then this one came up and I thought it was funny because there's like a group of five people and you know, they're reacting, right? And it looks like they're reacting to my video. So again, I just downloaded it. And then for that last image, I got it from Adobe Stock. I also have a subscription on there as well. All I did was download everything, input it into here, and then the video that I wanted to put as an example was this vlog that we did where we did a photo shoot. And then I'll show you the how I did the first one here. So 
Let's take this video clip, drag it down here. And when you first put it on screen, it's going to look like this, right? Neon green. And so what you want to do is head over to visual effects and it's called remove a color. It, it doesn't say green screen or anything like that. And I put a star to it to put it in my favorites. So it's here in my favorites. If I scroll down, remove a color, right? Which is basically like the green screen, chroma key, that kind of thing. And you want to drag it onto the image or clip that has the green screen color. You don't want to be putting it on the, the footage, the vlog, because we are removing a color. And you can see it just did something weird. It does something different sometimes. This time it did this. And all you need to do is head over to the right, click on the down arrow, get the dropper, click on it. It's going to go bright again for some reason. Click on it again, click the dropper, then click on the neon green again. I know it sounds weird. And so now it removed it and now it's black because there's nothing below it, right? And you're like, oh, but there's all this like gross green stuff on the side. Well, that's where we need to play around with the, the tolerance, softness, hue, and defringe. And it's very easy. So what I usually do is I raise the tolerance up a bit. And usually that'll do it. And you can see it pretty much removed it. You can play around with other things like defringe and softness, but the first thing that I touch is the tolerance and it looks like it did that. So we're all good to go. Now, anything you put below here, it's going to show through because we literally just removed that green. So I'm going to take this, copy it, and then I'll paste it here. And so you just want to make sure that your video clip fits within the size of wherever the green screen used to be. And I could move this over a bit. You know, I was just trying to make it look like a 90s TV thing, right? And you saw in the example. And so that's the advanced version because you have to go outside of the Camtasia assets to get your own. You have to go on different websites, subscriptions to stock footage sites that you have, wherever you get your copyright free stock footage. And you can make something cool like this. So if you like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course that you guys can get access to down in the description below. If you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend you check it out. Smash the thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video.